folks, my name is Kess and welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Today you're going to learn how to spin a 2D coin in After Effects. If you would like to use the same coin I'm using today, feel free to download it in the description below. So I have my coin here. I'm going to go ahead and drag that into here to create a new composition. I'm going to just expand the edges a bit. So right click the composition, composition settings. I'm going to make the width and height a thousand by a thousand. Press OK. And I'm just going to add a white background to the sequence. So I'm going to right click in the project here, click new, solid, and white solid. Perfect. I'm going to drag that under the coin. OK, now let's get started on the animation. Under the coin layer here, make sure to check the cube icon like this. If you don't see these options, you can toggle the different modes here. So just make sure that you can see these options. Now let's open up the coin layer here. Transform. The main feature we're going to be playing with today is the Y rotation. So we're going to start by making a keyframe here. We're going to drag it out to about here. Then we're going to change this value to one. And you can see it makes another keyframe. If we watch it back, you'll see that it spins. So why don't we smooth it out a bit? I'm going to highlight these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. You can also hit F9 on your keyboard. Let's take a look. Okay, that's a lot smoother. For some of you, you might be done. You might be happy with how this looks. But I think I'm going to add a nice little shine to it to kind of give it that 3D look. So under effects and presets, I'm going to search for light sweep. Here it is. I'm going to drag light sweep onto the coin layer. Now we're going to play around with these settings in the effect controls. I'm going to change the direction to 30 instead of negative 30. We're going to start at the beginning of the timeline here. And we're going to change the center so it shifts off the screen. We're going to make a keyframe. If you want to see these keyframes on the layer, just hit U and you can see all the keyframes shown on one layer. I'm going to drag the playhead a bit. I'm going to move the center so it goes across like this. So you can see that the shine goes like this. Might actually drag out the playhead a little bit more. Shines like that. So I'm going to have it shine one more time at the end. So I'm going to drag it out until about here. I'm going to make a keyframe, move over one. Then I'm going to copy this first keyframe by selecting it and hitting Command C and Command V. I'm going to move it over to about here. I'm going to copy this keyframe, Command C, Command V. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I'm going to make sure that the length of this shine is about the same as this first one here. And I'm going to pull it back a bit. All right, that's pretty much it, folks. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. Have a great rest of your day, folks, and stay safe.